can you even see me all right so yesterday i took it upon myself to wash my car i haven't washed it in a while um i think i did a pretty good job i mean it's dusty now from overnight from all of the pollen and my um carpets were like disgustingly dirty um my floor mats were nasty i decided to clean yesterday when i came home i went to park over here but there was no parking spots because as you can see this this guy he opened up his own like car wash thing or whatever and he had a whole bunch of customers like parked over here and they were blocking actual parking spots so when i was right here facing this way it was a couple that looked like me walking with their dog um and they bypassed me and they were looking all in my car like as if to see something so i'm like i don't know what the hell they looking at but whatever so then i seen this spot across the street i get across the street and i park and as i'm crossing the street after i park i seen the same couple come by my car and look all in my car Today is supposed to be a good day. It's a decent weather. Planned on going to the beach. Um, I get to my car and when I get inside, well, before I get inside, I see that um, this thing right here is on the seat. And I'm like, what is that doing on the seat? And my, my purse is in the way now. But then I see all of this stuff. And I said, no way is my, like somebody broken to the car. And my windows are so clean. I'm kind of like, where? And it's the back window. I didn't really have anything in here um this is an thing you use an emergency it can cut the uh seat belt and um break a window and they didn't steal that um i mean i have um the thing for my car they didn't steal that i have my easy pass they didn't steal that um guessing this bag is what they use to punch the glass oh this is what they threw into the car that's nice um yeah Devin had got this for me because when you put your phone in it's supposed to like catch it um they didn't steal this um I have some stuff in the back of my car um i have my daughter's scooter i have uh jumping cables i have stuff that i guess would be worth stealing um i have my daughter's car seat all destroyed with glass um i got some lysol spray and wipes down there um, on this side this is pretty much the contents of the um thing this is my mom's old one it has our old address on it um some glasses just this and the club and it's like no radio is in here and this wasn't this wasn't a um a black lives matter 
kind of raid. I honestly, honestly can say that I think this was from that couple that was eyeballing my car and they thought that they would find something. Unfortunately, there was nothing to find and it's really sad. It's really sad and hurtful that someone would do this. I'm pretty annoyed. I'm trying my best like not to cuss. But you know, this is kind of um unfortunately common in the hood. And it's crazy. I haven't had to deal with this kind of behavior in such a long time and it actually kind of pissing me off that now I have to spend more money not only um cleaning out my car but I also have to pay for a window and I have to pick out all the little pieces of glass so I don't sit on it because I'm wearing leggings and a t-shirt so I thought I would just be able to get in the car and go huh I can guarantee to you I can guarantee you that that was from this couple I can guarantee you I can guarantee it oh and this is me with my postal uniform on I'm not a cop you can clearly see I was a postal worker so you can't say it's cause oh they thought I was a cop and fuck cops cause this wasn't even that situation. But um, let me uh, get this cleaned up and hopefully everything will be fixed. It's a little after 12 so I don't even know. So I cleaned the car the best way that I could actually cleaned it to where it looked the way it did when I first vacuumed it so now I'm getting the window changed and I'm getting a, um, a regulator they said the regulator needs to be um, put in the car because it was broken and the guy at the other place he had told me the same thing and I'm just like no because I know for a fact they're trying to get extra money out of me because I'm a woman I'm like the regulator is fine because I said, how much is the window? He said, the window's $95. I'm like, damn, that's pricey, $95. i am like, all right, the regulator should work. And so then he looks and he's like, no, the regulator don't work. Um, you know, you're gonna have to pay extra for that. I said, all right, well, just, just um, close it up and I'll just go somewhere else. So I went to another place and I asked them, and as I'm driving, I'm on the phone with um, True Beauty and I'm like, yeah, he's trying to say it don't work and it works. And I said, wait, it doesn't work that window is messed up like it already was messed up like when you pull a window down it goes down super duper slow and then when you pull it up it comes up super slow sometimes it don't even come up all the way so i'm like it is broken it, it was already broken but the fact that he wanted to charge me said um 95 so i went to another place and they only charged me 75 dollars for the window i mean that's a uh 20 dollar difference and um the price of the regulator i didn't even ask but i mean it's um 125 dollars i think so i mean whatever i honestly feel like i would be saving more money because if you're gonna hijack the price of just the window by that much i can imagine how much they would have hijacked the price for the window regulator so honestly today i think after this i don't think we're gonna go to the beach as planned we may go tomorrow tomorrow the weather's gonna be better it's gonna be 81 degrees I think maybe we may just go to like Walmart or something and try to go food shopping or something like that. So I'll see you guys.